Okay, I already made the other video. It's about 2.22 now. Uh, this is going to be a little bit hard to do because I'm going to have to, like, have the camera and then kind of work around it. But, uh, so we're going to invest now. We got, uh, we got our, our two flasks here. We got the one that has the BS on the head of the skull. And we've got the horse head. We're going to set those right there right now. And so now I'm using R&R &R Investment. I've used a couple different ones of theirs. Uh, so far they've, they've worked okay. Or actually, it worked great. Uh, so I don't have like a preference at the moment. Let's see. So what you want to do is for, for two flasks, which is the most... The most you can fit in here is three quarters of a pound of investment. And so that's enough so that when this bubbles up inside of here, it's not going to flow over the top. Um, and it's just designed for, for a very small uh, investing, you know, small amount of uh, uh, just a couple flasks. So, and I'm just going to, I'm going to use two of these to make this easier. So, the one thing I found is if you go to the R&R uh, website, you'll find that in the, in the technical area, you can pull up uh, all the information on using their investment, how much water, uh, how much time to be mixing things. And I'm going to speed this up a little bit uh, because I don't know if uh, my phone will load everything fast enough if it's too long. So what you want to do is I, for three quarters, I've marked it, but I found it seems to need a little extra. And that's something you'll kind of come up with as you go. And so you want to put the water in, and you always start with the water first, and then you add your investment. So now we'll add the investment. Now you should have a respirator on. Uh, I don't because then you wouldn't be able to hear me talk. But you should have a respirator. This is very bad to breathe. Uh, it's very high in silica. And so that's what causes silicosis. And then I've got a bunch of... Um, oh, okay. I can't even think of the word. Spatulas right now. On order and they're not here. And in place of it, I've been using this whip, uh, and it actually works pretty good. And so if you go to the website, it'll tell you to mix this for three minutes. Maybe it was three and a half. So you have a total time of, a, I'm, I'm going to guess, nine to eleven minutes to mix this before it gets hard. Uh, and I'm standing in a trailer, so when I mix, the trailer kind of shakes. My, <laughs> my whole body shakes here. So what I often do is I'll, and I forgot to do it, but I, I have room temperature water. And after I do this, I'll always have a little extra in here so that I can add more if I think I need it. Um, if you have a bigger mixing bowl, this works really good if you use like a hand mixer and just one of the beaters. If you use two, I always find one of them breaks. But if you use um, just one, this works really good. But I got to say, you know, the whip handle, it might now have another use. Um... This mixes investment really well. So like I say, I'm not going to do this as long as I, the three and a half minutes. So we're going to take that out. Just going to set it down. This is going to go up. It's going to sit in here. Top's going to go back on. These come in red and blue. Uh, they work the same. Want to make sure that's in the up position. You turn on your vacuum. It's really fast. 
So that's going to rise. And then it's going to go back down. And that really is all you need to do. And, th and that is what it says on the website. So then we release that. Turn off the, the vacuum. Take that off. Need to get that out of the way. So now we have our flasks here. And what you want to do, and that's why they make these flexible, is you want to put that on its side and you want to pour this in so that you're not pouring it directly onto the wax. And I like to pour it so it's about a quarter inch from the top. Okay, we'll do this one. I know it's hard to see. I'm a little contorted here. So we're gonna get it about a quarter inch from the top. We still got a little bit in here and we're just gonna set that to the side. Now, if the bottoms are nice and snug, you can pick these up like this. If the bottoms are not snug, you have to make sure you don't pick it up by the flask or you, you risk the bottom popping off. So these are nice and snug. So that's gonna sit in like that. Now they tell you you should do this for, I can't remember the time. I gotta go back and look. But it's, it's, it's a couple minutes, maybe longer than that. You wanna pull that up, but we're not gonna do it that long. So now it's gonna rise and you can kinda, of, I thought about putting a handle on here, but it, it doesn't fit in the shipping box. So you could just kinda of bounce it up and down like that. So again, I'm gonna shorten this. That. I kind of do it at the same time. Let's see, where can I put that? Now what I do is I take these out and I take the extra here and I top it off and I like to try and get it to where it's going to be about a sixteenth of an inch below the rim. And now the problem with a trailer, trailer like I'm in is when you step on the floor everything shakes. So I gotta be really still here. So now you can just leave this in here. Leave those like they are. Don't, don't touch them. Make sure they stay really still. When this dries you can break it out. Uh, it's a lot easier than you don't want to dump this down the your sink. Uh, so let's see. They tell you you should use deionized water. I don't know if that's the same as distilled or not. Uh, I just use tap water. I always have. So uh, it's up to you what you use. But I, I put it in here and I, I let it uh, get to like room temperature. And I think they say like 72 degrees is, is ideal. Uh, in Tucson here, it gets a little warmer than that. And so that's, that's it for this part. And these, I like to let these sit about two hours. Uh, and then at two hours, I'll come back and then we'll, we'll take off the blue tape. Uh, maybe after, say, well, I'll just do it all at once so you guys can see. Sometimes I'll pull the, the bottom off at about an hour and then let it, uh, it seems to dry better if the bottom's off, but uh, I'll do it all at once so you can see it and then we'll prep these and get them ready for, for casting. So I think that's it. Um, you can get something like this off of Amazon for about 10 bucks. 
cheaper than getting them at a jewelry supply place, I think. I'm not going to supply these because I can't get a break on them and I don't want to mark up something that you can get for what I can get it for. So, okay, I guess that is, that'll do it. All right. Thank you.